today I'm doing another test with this coil um, it is the system is already uh, running uh, makes it easier for me it is running on uh, 29 volts DC input at uh, 1.2 amps uh, I am still using the 36 pole rotor uh, this coil here is the same as the, in the previous uh, video but I uh, partially uh, rewound it again because it was giving me some issue in the previous video um, this meter here I'm going to use instead of this meter here because this meter is now uh, blown out I have to replace that again I will be doing only DC test uh, I'm gonna step down the voltage here rectifier milliamps will be seen here I will be doing a uh, 0.6 watt test a 1.2 watt test a 5 watt test and of course fill in the capacitor and when I'm all down I'm gonna cut these uh, tie ribs whatever you call those and take the coil away so we can measure the RPM now the system is running for a pretty long time so the RPM should be stable now let's check that 1941 uh, now I'm going to start with the uh, testing doing now the uh, now let me turn down the meter here this is the half a watt load volt is uh, 9.9 .9 and dropping the um, milliamps is 113 in the previous video this coil when it was in place it makes the system drop with uh, 125 rpm now I've rerounded it it doesn't do that anymore but now with load it does drop the system uh, it does make the system go lower RPM but not lower than the 20 than the 125 RPM of the previous video so basically I solved that problem but it gives me this problem now there's always something let me check the RPM Hope you guys can see there. 8300 and 49. It is still dropping. Let's give it some time. I've written here 8343. So uh, the voltage is now 9.5 at 130 milliamps which is uh, I think something about one watt output and that's the aim I'm aiming for one watt output free from a coil 1842 I've written in 1843 but it's a system is never the same it's always around of roughly Voltage is still uh, 9.5 at 130. Let's check the RPM one more time. Okay, 840 now. I'm gonna change it over here, 840. Let's check it again. You can never check enough time. A340. Okay. Now I'm gonna go for a 1.2 watt load. Now two bulbs are burning. The voltage is 4.8. I've written a point part eight also. The milliamps is uh, 180. And what is the RPM doing? Still 1840. 
yeah the input is now a little bit higher 29.1 at yeah roughly the same 1.2 amps input the complete system is still driven the same way DC converter blah 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 nothing has changed on that drive side uh, now I'm gonna go for the uh, alright let me check the RPM again before I go for a 5 watt load still 840 so that's good going on for the 5 watt load it is the 5 watt load you can see light is slightly lit voltage is now 3.9 at 190 milliamps yeah I've written it 3.9 190 milliamps have to uh, correct this one also 1840 rpm with the 1.2 watt load now we're doing the 5 watt load here I've written 1845 and let's see what it's doing now 1845 that's pretty good 1844 so the 5 watt load is a little bit higher rpm than the lower load like the 0 0.6 and 1.2 it is dropping a little bit again 1834 sorry 1843 let's wait for it voltage is 3.99 million is 190 rpm 1843 no 1842 no 42 43 come on man make up your mind Okay, let's say 1842. I've written in 1845. We're going to make a 2 out of the 5. Now I'm going to short the coil. With shorting, I written in 1870. So shorting it does not give me the maximum load on this coil. So the RPM should be more than 1842 now, and yes it is increasing, you can see that the coil is being shorted now. Let's give it some time. After that I'm gonna fill this large capacitor as always. As you can see the lowest RPM was 1840 and when it's not loaded the RPM was 1941 so the difference is 101 no is it 101 I think so trust the calculator here yes 101 so I'm losing 101 RPM when the coil is max loaded which is not bad at all RPM is now 1860 sorry 76 no 67 67 68 let's say 68 I written here 1870 but it's 18 68 as you can see what I've written and what I'm writing now wasn't uh, much difference just one or two rpm it's not that of a big deal let's check it again now it's 1869 yeah it's okay now I'm gonna fill the capacitor minus goes here and that one goes there This voltmeter will comes on the moment it reaches 10 milli, 10 volts. Milliamps filling the capacitor is now 170, 60 and decreasing. The fuller this gets, the less energy is needs to fill it up. It is almost there. 
10 volts 10 volts here let's check the RPM 18.50 and decreasing let's see if it go uh, below the 18.40 mark which was uh, the lowest 18.47 Lowest RPM was 1840 when it was loaded with the 1.2 watt and the 0.6 watt load. That's the voltage in the capacitor at yeah, 90 milliamps. Let's check that RPM again. 1846, 47. Yes, but it's stable at 1847. Let's give it some more time. Voltage is now here uh, 16.1, saying 16.2, and over here is also the same. Let me check the RPM one more time. Eighteen forty-nine forty-eight. 1849 okay let me write that 1849 rpm which is not bad um now i'm gonna remove the load the coil is now open Uh, it should speed up back to uh, 1941, the same as when I started the video, but it will take a time, some time to get there. So what I'm going to do now is remove the coil. Let's see what the RPM will be without the coil in place. Is it the same as 1941? I would say it would be a little bit higher because it's always on a little bit of air drag when you put something near a spinning rotor. It is oh yes, you actually see it is over already 1944 with the coil in place Oops. Uh, coil in place it was 1941 no coil so with the coil in place it was 1941 rpm and now i have no coil we're going to see what the difference is there should be a difference always will have a difference but it should not be too much like in the previous video in my previous video the difference between coil in place and no coil was 125 rpm that was way too much and now it is uh, different is now 10 rpm at this moment the difference is now 16 rpm which is a reasonable uh, how you say that difference oops ouch that was my toe 1950 Let me check that one more time. Nineteen fifty-nine. Let's give it some more time. So we are pretty sure it is stable. So basically I have improved I have solved the problem I was having in the previous video 
so the coil in place now is better than in the previous video but now with load it is dropping 101 rpm but uh, 101 rpm is not bad at all for uh, when it's loaded 1960 yeah now it's pretty stable so the difference is 19 rpm the difference is when the coil is in place and when the coil is not in its place is 19 rpm so that's good for me that is uh, more than uh, enough that's a good uh, difference checking it one more time 1960 sweet so yeah that problem has been resolved and the output the maximum output was with the 0 0.6 watt load and that was 9.4 by 130 milliamps is 1.2 watt so that's good the output is good uh, the coil in place or not in place difference is 19 rpm that's also good only tiny problem now is 101 rpm when it's loaded maximum hmm there's always something enough to drive you crazy but since I'm already crazy it doesn't matter um, yeah I think I've shown enough so I have made some improvement um, only need to improve this part here maybe I just need some more some higher rpm so uh, we'll be doing with that uh, shortly okay let me give you a shot of the whole system running here still the same input hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching